Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So Neverwinter in 2022, how was it? Just keep in mind this is coming from an endgame player perspective. I generally just play all the latest content and the rest just becomes kind of irrelevant when they come out with something new. If you're a new player, well, there's tons of content to experience in this game aside from anything that they add that's like the latest. So you might get a new module, but you might still have a ton of other stuff you could be doing. So let's dive in and we start at the beginning of 2022. On the 11th of January, they added Dragonbone Veil. Vale. With it, at least for Endgame, we got our Crown of Keldegon, which was an entirely new trial, fighting both Palavorthine and Velindra in different phases. It was quite interesting. Unfortunately, it did lack a bit of the novelty that you would get from running like Zarya or Tower of the Mad Mage for the first time. It was nowhere near as mechanically complex, but nonetheless, it was quite interesting and fun. And otherwise, we did get a new campaign with that, Dragonbone Veil. Vale. And a month later, we then got the adventure, the Scaleblight Summit. Overall, the campaign itself was pretty underwhelming. It had nothing new, nothing that was going to replace anything we used. It was literally just there for new players to get some gear. The Crown of Keldegon trial was a bit lackluster, again, to those other trials. And when you did go and manage to actually finally beat it, you, the rewards were also very lackluster. You basically got nothing in this trial that you could sell. Nothing outside of the normal premium rewards you get from any other content. And so it was very disappointing in that regard. But nonetheless, I spent over a month, day in, day out, completing it two, three, four times each day with a group just for fun. Otherwise, we did get new mythic weapons from this trial. But upon testing them, again, they were very underwhelming and just not being competitive compared to other options we already had in existence. So in terms of an endgame player, Module 22 wasn't exactly that exciting. Yes, a new trial, something to be a play, but we could only play it for the reason of having fun. Many people get very much motivated when there's something to be earned that's going to progress their character significantly and also give them the ability to farm more astral diamonds by selling things like we had back with tower of the mad mage so once the novelty wore off of running the trial there was not much else to do except wait for the next module so on june the 14th module 23 finally launched and with that we got our dragon slayer campaign the ability to kill dragons to get some really good gear. And this was a great improvement. The gear we could obtain through this was some of the best in slot in the game, allowing us to put aside that horrible grind that was Avernus Hunts to get the gear we needed for our endgame characters. It allowed us to build up alternate characters far easier than we have ever done. Equipping them with some of the best gear, being able to get it, and knowing you only had to do a certain amount of runs before you would guaranteed obtain it. Like Avernus Hunts was complete RNG. You either got your drop or you didn't, and then you'd have to go through the grind again. I personally hated it back then. So Dragon Slayer was a good improvement in terms of character progression with regards to the gear you could get. You are still running that gear. A lot of it is still best in slot. And additionally, us endgame players got a new master trial, Tiamat. Yes, not exactly new. The concept of the fight and the story behind it was not new. It was just a rework of what had already been existing in the game. For new players, it wasn't much different. They just changed a few mechanics and that was it. For us master content players, the end game players, it was a lot of fun. The mechanics they introduced were definitely new with regards to the spells, how we had to play them, and just the the play of the fight was entirely different. We had to organize our groups differently and overall it was quite a challenge. It was unique to any of the trials that had it been in the game before. You had phases where you had to kill lots of groups of enemies and if you weren't up to that task then you weren't able to beat the trial. So you had to make a build which was kind of hybrid, a both mix of 
AoE and single target damage to be able to kill these groups of adds along with ultimately beating up Tiamat's heads and then a final phase where you beat on her chest while tanks tank mini bosses and so overall mechanically the fight was completely different and effectively it was new content. Now a bit better than Crown of Keldegon you could actually get some loot in here that would sell and that was the new mythic Tiamat set but it was only really good for tanks so there's not a lot of demand for it so it wasn't selling as highly as if it was best in slot for a DPS but overall it was very satisfying to run it. I was a bit burnt out from creating groups and running Crown of Keldegon, so I didn't create many groups for this. I joined quite a few and had a lot of fun in playing it. I still do. It's still one of the fun trials to run and play, and you can at least get something that will sell. Like, again, this Tiamat's Golden Sash that I just dropped there. But with regards to the Dragon Slayer campaign and getting that actual gear... You had to do a lot of repetitive grinding. You had to go and farm your dragons, killing like a hundred of them in order to get the top gear. Not so bad when you spread it out, but if you're joining the game new and you think you're going to have to do all that grinding, you want to get it done as quickly as possible. Yeah, a hundred dragons is a lot, especially if they're taking you like 10 minutes each. But again, it wasn't intended to be completed on day one. Overall, I think Module 23 was a great addition. However, newer players didn't receive a new zone, a new area like we got with Module 24. And so they felt it missed something. And I agree on that front, but I really like the addition of the new gear and being able to guaranteed obtain it after a certain amount and you knew you would get it. And along with that, the rework to Tiamat was very nice as endgame content to challenge our maxed out characters, making a hybrid build to beat up adds and single target beat up the dragons. On top of that, we did get a battle pass with it, which was our draconic rage. Unfortunately, it was pretty disappointing. But again, that's from an endgame player's perspective. There wasn't a lot new in it. There was maybe one item, which was the return of the Icosahedron Iron Stone. But for new players, it's decent progress. And especially, you can get some free rewards there as well, which will just help you just by playing the game as you normally would, playing random cues. But time went on, the novelty of running Tiamat died, and we were then just waiting for the next module. And then, as a build-up to the upcoming module, we got another battle pass, which was Roth Valley. And with it came also a new adventure, Roth Valley, which was just a return of an adventure zone we had before. But for new players, it was something to do, and definitely gain the ability to, yeah farm companion upgrade tokens it's still something you can do level up a character complete this get the upgrade tokens delete the character and go back and do it again but the rewards for again an end game player on that battle pass was not much new you did have one thing the dragon fire which was a belt item which ended up after me testing it after finally getting it to be like best in slot and the rest of the battle pass itself was all things considered very underwhelming so there was really only one reason to like buy the premium pass but it was still again free rewards for players who were just ran random queues anyway so then on the 8th of november module 24 launched and that's the current module right now and how do i feel about it well we've had the addition of master temple of the spider personally i enjoy the dungeon again it is something new the fights were made completely different to how they were before. Before, you could just ignore pretty much all mechanics and kill everything. And now, as a master dungeon, the difficulty being ramped up, and they even added completely new mechanics to the first and second boss. The third boss being the most underwhelming. The first boss was very nice. You had to balance between killing lots of adds the enemy spiders and on top of that you didn't know exactly when you were going to get like a barrel which could blow up and screw you all over and so you had to make sure you kept back a bit of your damage and this was something new that we had in the game 
there was never any other fight where we'd have to like hold on to a daily power or mount power or make sure we had our burst for the right timing. And so we had to think differently. We had to spread out our burst. Same with the second boss. We had to consider, did we need to save mounts? Did we need to use personal artifacts moving away from artifact calls to be able to beat the boss? With time, people learn mechanics and we can probably end up going to our, back to our old ways. But initially, it was quite exciting, quite fun, having to be challenged to think differently towards how we would normally play the game. And overall, it felt like a completely different dungeon to me, at least. And with that module, we did receive a new campaign as well, North Dark Reaches. And ultimately, what it had going for it was pretty much just the new companion gear. You could grind that out and you could upgrade what you had existing or get some new ones. And with Temple of the Spider, when you beat it, the end chests did have some new gear, some new rings, the ability to grind currency to get some new gear. But unfortunately, outside of a few rings, it was pretty underwhelming. Not much again that you could sell in here. Yes, there's a new artifact, which does sell okay, especially since it's pretty viable to use as an artifact in both secondary and primary for a DPS. But again, not a whole lot you could sell, much like with Tiamat, much like with Crown of Keldegon. Crown of Keldegon definitely being the worst. At least with Tiamat and Temple of the Spider, we did get something we could sell to other players. Something that could give us back the Astro Diamonds we were spending on scrolls, spending on consumables, those sorts of things. Crown of Keldegon was horrible rega with regards to that. There was nothing you could sell. You literally spent consumables, you spent scrolls and were making a loss for just the sake of fun. It just didn't feel right. You were beating this master content, which is supposed to be a super challenge and not really getting rewarded for it, other than that sense of accomplishment. And then a few weeks into the module, they added another battle pass, which is still active, North Dark Divided. We currently have the first part with the second part going live in literally two days. And this battle pass definitely is the worst one this year. We literally nothing new at all. You have some items from previous battle passes that you can obtain, so there is that if you missed out on those. But just take it as some free rewards for doing random queues. And then just a few weeks ago, they added back again Demogorgon, which now has a standard version and a master version. So wow, we've gotten three master trials this year from Crown of Galdagon, Rise of Tiamat, and Demogorgon. On top of getting a new advanced dungeon, Temple of the Spider Master. You could consider two of them as just reworks, but all things considered, from an endgame player's perspective, it is essentially new content with entirely different mechanics, having to go into those fights thinking completely differently as you had to do before. So in effect, it is new content. So that's four pieces of master content. I don't think we've had a year like that with that much content for endgame players. Unfortunately, Crown of Keldegon had next to no reason to run it outside from fun, Tiamat had, yes, the new tank set, and so it was a little bit more viable to run. And additionally, you had a ultimate challenge, a series of achievements you could complete within Tiamat to be able to obtain like a, a unique cloak and title. Unfortunately, it ended up a bit of a mess of not working for the first three months. And then we got Temple of the Spider, which has a set, artifact set you can sell. Doesn't sell for a lot as a lot of people are doing the dungeon, unlike Trials. But it also has some new rings you can get there, which are pretty much best in slot on a lot of builds. And then if you're to go to make progress on the North Dark Reaches campaign, you are able to go and get the new weapons, which for new players is really good. You just have to do some questing. You get them and they're one of the best weapon sets in the game. You don't have to spend anything on upgrading them like you would with masterwork weapons. Temple of the Spider also managed to get a series of achievements which you could then obtain a unique transmute along with a title. So that was also a bit of fun for endgame players to be able to chase for, setting yourself up for an extra challenge to get 
a bragging rights reward. And then with the recent release again of Demogorgon in its reworked version, it also got its meta achievement, this time giving you a unique vanity pet along with a title, giving yourself the ability again to increase challenge for mostly just a bragging rights reward. Now in terms of Demogorgon getting reworked and being the latest master content, I have found it to be a little bit disappointing. Most disappointingly compared to any master trial that's ever come out to be honest. But it does have the reward factor of dropping the new mythic Demogorgon set, which was actually released like last year, 2021. But now it dropping again from here means there's every reason to run this content. I just find again, it's very boring. The arena is massive. Nothing much happens with the terrain. Well, nothing does at all. You just have to keep on top of killing some ads and otherwise beating up the boss with next to no mechanics. You just need to make sure you have enough power to get through. Yes, you do have a unique mechanic compared to other trials with having to manage madness. But overall, its challenge rating is supposedly supposed to be the lowest compared to the other master trials. And thus, yeah, it's not supposed to be that difficult. And it isn't. It's, again, mostly just a big hit point slog. You're just going to be killing the boss. You can do speed runs. You can practice your DPS, essentially like attacking a dummy with very little mechanics to do. And so it's a nice place to practice and learn but it is on the much more boring side, all things considered, compared to other master content, at least for me. Overall, I'm pretty happy with regards to this year, with regards to content for Neverwinter. They have promised they'll be coming out with three modules again next year, and I'm looking forward to it, see what they can come up with. I definitely think it was a better year than 2021 with regards to content. Yes, we did get a new class in 2021, but we only had two modules and for an entire module we just got a rework to leveling and that was it end game players got nothing except a new class which yes if you wanted to play that class was something you could learn something you could develop to get good at unfortunately that class was filled with bugs was very underplayable and the bard this year 2022 did get quite a good few reworks on the healer path, making it pretty much the most powerful healer in the game right now. So ultimately, I think 2022 was pretty great for Neverwinter. Others may disagree, you may agree. Feel free to leave your comments below and let's hope 2023 can be even better. Special thank you to all these channel members for helping me keep my channel going and we'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.